Hey everyone, before this video begins, I just want to let you guys know about a great way that you can support the channel while getting U4 Domination now that it's going to be out in a few days or it's already out depending on when you're watching this video. You can simply go to nexus.gg slash the Red Hawk or click the link in the description or the pinned comment and it'll take you to the store right here. Of course, you guys know about Nexus. Lots of creators use it and this is done in collaboration with Paradox and it'll take you to my store right here. I've got various games, but most importantly, you can go ahead and click on U4 Domination right here and you can simply add it to your cart and once it's out or if it's already out you will very easily receive a steam key put it into steam and play it no fuss no nothing like that and most importantly as you can see right here the red hawk will receive a dollar 56 from this purchase so yeah if you don't already have domination and you want to get it make sure to click the link in the description and go to my store right here on nexus it's a great way to support the channel and play the game so thank you to everyone who buys it through this link right here all right let's move on with the video i've made a massive mistake i've made a massive mistake I didn't notice. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the nation of Lubeck. Lubeck is a nation that's located in the HRE. We start off as Catholic with this random guy right here. And of course, as everyone knows, Lubeck is one of the best trading nations in the game. And historically, it's been like the leader of the Hanseatic League or whatnot. We do start off in a sort of a trade league. Some of these guys are in it, like Hamburg, Bremen, Oldenburg, and stuff like that. And you guys know how trade leagues work by now. It's super annoying to fight all of them, super annoying to conquer them. We are in the HRE, so we're defensively protected. So yeah. It should be a pretty smooth campaign as Lubeck, even though expansion might be slow over in the HRE and in this region by fighting all of the big guys around us, like the Kalmar Union, Poland, Lithuania, England, Novgorod, Muscovy, stuff like that, if you want to expand up in the north. Lubeck's ideas obviously focus on trade, as we can see right here, but I don't think these are actually Lubeck's ideas. I think once we jump in, we're going to be able to see them. And uh, since Lions of the North, Lubeck has gotten an updated mission tree, which I've sort of gone through and gives you various bonuses and stuff like that. But what do we do as Lubeck? Well, well, actually, I don't have a goal for today's campaign, man. A couple of videos ago, a couple of months ago, I played a campaign where the goal was simply to have fun, and uh, that's pretty much going to be the goal for today as Lubeck as well. You know, we're going to play as Lubeck, and maybe I'll see how much income can we achieve as Lubeck through trading and stuff like that in about a 100 years. We're going to try and conquer the entire Lubeck trade node, go for the Baltic Sea, the centers of trade, push into the North Sea, maybe Novgorod, maybe even the English Channel, and uh, yeah, man, we'll see how much income we can get in about a 100 years, and let's say, I don't know, if we have less than a hundred income it's a failure more than a hundred it's a success or something like that but like i said the main goal right here is to have some trading fun and before we begin if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them let's jump in as lubeck all right right here we are as lubeck and looks like i was wrong about the ideas those are the you know lubeck ideas the hanseatic ideas so they're really good for trading man plus 15 percent trade range plus 10 percent trade steering trade efficiency as a finisher global trade power merchants uh sailors and lightship discounts stab discount manpower recovery speed provincial trade power interest per annum and when you uh you know complete your entire mission tree and unlock this mission you gain even better uh national ideas but i think to accomplish this mission tree you're gonna need a bit more than 100 years and you need to colonize something i'm not really interested for so i won't be gunning for this mission tree strictly but you know we might go for a mission here or there but yeah like i said we're a plutocracy we got a merchant and stuff like that we got the factions obviously these guys are in our trade league i don't know why it says we start off allied to some guys when we don't so yeah we got four members in our trade league it's uh riga bremen hamburg and uh, oldenburg so yeah i think we should get started by conquering the lubeck trade node at least in the hre around us and uh after that we'll see where we go so let me get started by doing some estate stuff. Now we do have some new uh, estate privileges, as you know, in this update, man. And the burgers are already so influential. I was going to give them like, uh, which one was it, man? Allow burgers economic freedom. But I really do need to be careful with these guys' influence. So let's keep it at that for now. All right, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and seize land. Who has rivaled me? Let's go ahead and rival them back. Brandenburg, Saxon, Lauenburg, and Friesland. Let's see, do we have a Diplorep guy? Ah, that sucks. I don't, man. Uh, I was trying to ally Austria right here. Uh, let's start up by improving relations with them and scornfully insulting uh provence i guess because they're their rival maybe that'll help us get with them quicker but uh yeah we're making not very good money at the start surprisingly either way i'm still gonna get three advisors let's get that morale and inflation reduction guy let's take a look at the boats right here we got 10 lights protecting trade so i'll tell them to do exactly that in lubeck then we got some uh galleys and transports i'll build two more transports uh three more galleys just like that force limit is 12 
let's get rid of these horses for now they're too expensive and uh once we get some cash i'll uh build this up all right uh i know some mission gives us claims yeah army size 90 percent of the force limit yeah so when we do that we're gonna get claims on uh this right here i think i'm gonna fight one of these guys over here first hopefully wool gas first they got uh centers of trade so yeah man let's try and get as much uh, income as we can i wonder if it's a good idea to ally denmark right at the start man since we can of course later we're gonna fight them but um yeah let's keep them around for now all right well there goes the austria alliance meanwhile cleaves wants to join our trade league sure and i'll keep around uh guys in the trade league that i don't have to conquer so i'm not exactly planning on conquering here so cleaves will probably be a member of my trade league until the end let's see if we can actually invite someone to our trade league oh we can lots of nations hmm, who aren't we gonna fight immediately man let's invite on halt i guess Goatland, Death Marchant, sure. All right, I didn't know you gained a force limit because of uh, trade league members. Either way, now we can take Young Men of Lubeck. We gain perma claims on this right here. I am going to go ahead and give my ruler mill command. Let's attach the free company right here. And like I said, I wanted to fight Wolgas first, but no, they've allied Burgundy and Brandenburg. Let's go ahead and fight Saxe Lauenburg. Yeah, there it is, Conquest. Mecklenburg is their ally. That actually might be pretty good. Starting ruler, by the way, is a 143. Okay, we're done. Made these guys end their alliance with the Teutons, and let's go ahead and annex uh, Saxe Lauenburg. Uh, now what? Luneburg, maybe? Why does the everyone's ally to the freaking Teutons, man? Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to chill a bit. Hey, finally the Austria alliance. All right, that's pretty good, man. Now we can take Imperial Allegiance too. Uh, subjugation on Death Martian. We're not allied, are we? How can I kick him from the trade league? Didn't give me a truce. I did kick him. Subjugation on Death Martian, huh? Who are they allied to? Bremen, Friesland? One more mission accomplished. Gateway to the east. Riga will join the HRE like this. That's pretty good. It'll keep them alive. Uh, long enough for me to conquer them. And we gain some bonuses over there. I do plan on that province being mine later. Your two good reform time. We got some really good ones over here in Republican Virtues. Pretty much all of them are good, actually. I was gonna go with meritocratic rule, but that's too much burgers influence, man. So virtues of that, whatever, for manpower. This is basically strength and noble privileges. Yeah. I've done another mission, organize Hanseatic diets. I don't know what the requirements were, but uh yearly Republican tradition, re-election cost, five Republican tradition. Okay, okay. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go fight Death March in man. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else is there to do? Uh, conquest, not subjugation, though. Somehow Stettin got Goatland? What? What's going on over here? And they don't have any allies? I have a CB on them for Goatland. This is actually a really good opportunity to take this early. I am going to declare uh, while no one else is fighting them. All right, Death Marchant has unconditionally surrendered, so I am going to take that. It will create a truce with uh, Bremen too, which is my boy, but uh, no big deal. Let's go focus on Stettin. All right, War with Stettin is also done, though. No risk of a coalition, as we can see yet, I guess. And we are getting some really nice provinces right here, man. The estuary, the center of trade. I like this a lot. All right, that war is done. A is high-ish for now. So let's chill until we can fight Mecklenburg or Luneburg. Huh. Oh, because it's a Danish core, right? Yeah. Eh, might as well ally England. They might help uh, fight Denmark if they, you know, reconsolidate. Either way, since the Renaissance spawned and we do need to dev Lubeck a little bit, let's go ahead and activate Encourage Dev right here in uh, Mecklenburg. Why is it in Mecklenburg? Shouldn't it be in, like, another state? Either way, it doesn't matter too much. Right. <laughs> this is here <laughs> but yeah let's go ahead and develop lubeck a bit man uh should i expand right here i will and then uh yeah let's bump it up to 10 in every category sweden has declared independence they're like the england scotland and muscovy yeah denmark's gonna lose this man ah uh, our shoes with denmark is pretty long we can't catch this it's what denmark is up they're still fighting sweden austria wouldn't join because they're the holy roman emperor why does it matter if they're the holy roman emperor they'd help me fight the teutons but i don't really get it uh, can i beat these guys alone i think i can't <laughs> Me and Cole can beat Denmark. <laughs> I'm gonna fight them. <laughs> oh, wait, now Austria will come in? Yes, they will. Nice. First idea group time. What should we go with here, man? Obviously, it needs to be a mill one. I'm thinking quantity or quality, especially for the policies. Now, obviously, I'm gonna be getting trade as well. Trade and quality gives me plus 15% trade efficiency. Did they nerf that? And uh, quantity and trade gives me plus 15% goods produced. Did they also nerf that? Or did they buff it goods produced i guess goods produced is pretty good man yeah uh let's go quantity trade quality i guess uh can i take it yeah pretty good monarch win generation right now i buffed this guy up through re-elections austria somehow got on copenhagen how did that happen i'm not even blockading oh i am blockading danzig popped out poland has lithuania yeah this is gonna be tough getting these provinces here Sweden took a lot from Denmark and Norway, I think, too. Yeah, they did. Sweden is pretty big, man. Strong allies, too. You know, we got lucky with Goatland, but everything else has been unlucky. Either way, Denmark is done. Primarily interested in the centers of trade. Let's see if we can do this. Am I going to get a coalition? This is not in the HRE. What about stuff in Norway? I am going to do this, though. Let's get war reps and money, too. 
Sweet, man. We've taken down uh, Denmark super early. I didn't expect this because we allied them right at the start, but, um, yeah, looking pretty good. Meanwhile, tier 3 gov reform time. I'm thinking we consolidate power just to reduce these guys' as an influence on re-elections, man. It'll be one year longer, sure, five instead of four years, but, um... I think this is pretty good. Consolidate power in the Doge. No, that's that's Venice, bro. That's Venice. This is pretty good too, Diplo Relations. But yeah, let's go consolidation of power, mainly to reduce estate influence. Either way, already making decent income from trade, man. Yeah. Oh, we can take new burger loans too, actually. Where is it? There it is, indebted to the burgers. Let's go ahead and do this as well and try and do something for the clergy. A church in Lubeck. I will do that simply so I can seize land, actually. And let's go with... Oh, we have a unique one. The Hanseatic Doctrine. Ship trade power and Navy tradition from protecting trade. We do need galley combat for over here, man. But you know what? Let's go with this. What, what else is there? Yeah, the other ones are uh, the same. Sweet. Let's seize. Meanwhile, we've expanded the Altstadt. Trade efficiency, institution spread, piece of whatever, trade power, dynamic reward based on how we completed. Sure. Uh... Two mercantilism, nice. Double entry bookkeeping, 70% cheaper skill, three advisor, and 100 admin points. That's pretty good. I will go ahead and hire that guy immediately. That's him, right? Yeah, we gotta use this. It's a no-brainer. Teutons aren't an issue anymore, so I am gonna go ahead and fight a Luneburg here for the conquest of, uh, well, Luneburg. Sweden is really big this campaign, man. They're gonna be our uh, endgame boss, I feel like. We, we have to fight Poland, too, actually. I wonder if we can link with Muscovy. No, they're a they're already allied to Sweden. Kemia. Nah, Bavaria formed. Bavaria formed. France, maybe? Oh, this game in clutch. Okay, we're done with Lunenburg. Nice. All right, let's get that. Eh, no real risk. Sweet. Uh, what's A looking like now? Actually, A is pretty bad, but now we can take a mission. Safeguard the... If we have a opinion with Hamburg, we... We don't actually let me improve with Hamburg and then we'll take that mission because if we have 160 opinion, something good happens. La Galia popped out. They're in my trade league now. <laughs> Sweet. Hamburg's opinion of us is 160. Nice. Oh, Polish Hungarian unification war. Man, if these guys get hungry too. <laughs> uh, what is this event? <laughs> oh my god, this text is so huge. Not that I usually read them, but 50% uh, stab cost guy. Sure. It's like we're not fighting Volgast anytime soon. Jesus Christ. Another mission, I can take finance, the guilds, shipbuilding time, ship cost, shipyard in Lubeck. Every member of our trade league will gain the same reward. Nice. And herring migration, based on how we complete it. Sure. Fish will not be produced in Lubeck. Naval equipment manufacturing in Lubeck. Well, naval goods or fish. Well, the price of fish actually drops when they colonize over here. So let's get a naval equipment manufacturing. Dude, a manufacturing in 1471? That's pretty sick, honestly. <laughs> let's get another light ship fleet going. One, two, three, four... Uh, let's get actually some loans for that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I got a naval reformer for this mission. Admiral with 50 tradition, and this gives me Hanseatic Cog. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, light ship cost for like four, 30 years. Naval leader maneuvers, sailors. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, marine, whatever, yearly navy tradition. Skill 3 naval reformer, 50% cheaper. Sure, pretty good missions. 25 heavies? The frick? But this is actually a really good event, but no way we can get like 25 heavies, dude. I devved up Goatland, and now we can take Restore Visby, where we gain this, uh, Construction Discount, Trade Power, every member will gain cash, that's nice, and we gain claims on this right here, sweet. Man, I'm, I'm actually, you know, I actually said I wasn't gonna go through the mission tree too much, but I'm really enjoying going through it. <laughs> okay, so the Teutons just, uh, yeah, they suck right now, so I'm gonna declare on them and the Livonians, and I think I'm gonna vassalize both of these guys, man. Let's call on Austria right here and get to it. Not that we need them, but why not speed things up? Actually, the Livonians don't have that many cores. Hmm. Why did I even mention Wolgast right at the start? Burgundy went to them? Oh my god, they're all like to Sweden. I'm never gonna do this, man. Jesus Christ, and I need to fight them so bad, too, for missions and everything else. Either way, tier 4 gov reform, this doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's go maintain balance of power for uh, diplomats and estates loyalty, I guess. You gotta be kidding me, they pee to Hungary. <sighs> I'm so bad with alliances this campaign, man. Sweden is freaking huge. England sucks. Can I link with France? Probably not. Poland is OP. Volgast is OP. Sweden is OP. Uh, I think I have to ally Muscovy somehow, man. Yeah. Only with them and Austria I can beat Poland, Lithuania, Hungary. Someone else too, maybe? No way I can link with the Ottomans, right? Yeah. Also, if I ally Muscovy, I could ask them for some of um, the Livonian Order's cores. Too bad they lost their cores on like this right here, but I mean, I didn't even co-belligerent the Livonians. Okay, Wolgast accepted that the Lowlands be released. They're a little bit weaker. That's good. Shout out Austria. Okay, I beat up both the Teutons and the Livonians. Let's make them both our vassals. Sweet. Oh, I've made a massive mistake. 
I made a massive mistake. I didn't notice. I didn't notice Poland was fighting them. Oh my god, dude. Even with England and Austria, I don't think we can win. How would we go about this? We're the main belligerent. We can peace out Anhal and Brandenburg and Riga. Oh my god. Okay, Hungary's low on manpower. Poland, okay-ish. Lithuania's good. We gotta do this. I mean, what else is there to do? Austria isn't even that strong, man. Actually, they're pretty good. All right, I got a gun for Brandenburg here first, I guess. War is actually going pretty good, even though I'm about to get beat up right here by Poland right now. Peace out everyone, man. Controlling lots of provinces. It's so-so right now, but we'll see. I think we can push through. I just need to waste these guys' manpower. Meanwhile, we can impose Lubeck law. And, um, yeah, I'm base manpower in Lubeck, I guess. Army tradition and stuff like that. Pretty good. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take this and let's go with trade right here. Okay, man, I think the war is pretty much done and I did not expect to fight Poland this early, but shout out to England and Austria, man. They really pulled their weight over here and uh, really helped me win this war. England is down to uh, their final, you know, uh, whatever. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and peace out, man. I'm gonna make them give back all of the Teutons that scores to them, including Danzig. Then let's get some war reps. Then let's get some money. A coalition won't form. Uh, what are their alliances right now? I made Brandenburg and Riga break the alliance with Poland, so we're good with that. And yeah, let's just call it right there. All right, awesome, man. Awesome. What is this? I can join a coalition? Is that a new pop-up? Yeah, let's join a coalition. Ooh, Sweden expanded so much. Yeah, let's definitely coalition these guys, man. I'm gonna pop off my golden era, too. Wait a minute. Oh, Sweden is guaranteed by Muscovy. Weird. Either way, I did want to give the nobility uh, integration policy. Why so few diplo relations? Why? Uh, where is it? Oh, strong duchy is actually not the integration policy. Let's get new burger loans as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do something for the burgers. Workshop and Sealand. Sure, I'll get that over there as soon as possible. And can we build any marketplaces? No, we're good on that. Some churches, maybe. We're good on that. Some production. We're going to put one down right there. Once again, Sweden getting involved where they don't... Wait, these guys aren't that strong. But if I fight them, uh, I can't make Muscovy uh, remove their guarantee over them. And I want to fight them directly, right? I just dipped up Danzig to get this right here. Uh, global trade power and two mercantilism for me for about... 30 years, uh, Martin is now righteous. Five brick of Lincoln tradition, one mercantilism. What is righteous though? Yeah, let's do that either way. Royal Prussia, one base production, Prussian is accepted. Sure, nice. I don't even own Prussian provinces, but I will. Finally, a papal thingy. Making some really good money right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and annex the Teutons. Should I focus up on dip here? Nah, no real need. And yeah, let's get a move on. I'm gonna declare on Verdun right now. We haven't fought in the HRE for quite a while. Let's call in Bohemia to help out. All right, and there's Burden done. Can we fall annex them? Yeah, all right, pretty simple. Who do we fight next, man? Maybe Norway? Ah, they're guaranteed by freaking Sweden, man. Either way, another mission. Let's go ahead and take the flow of trade. The flow of trade in Bremen increased by one. Oh, but Bremen is my boy, right? <laughs> I think I'm gonna upgrade uh, Kronborg right here. Dude, why does my prestige suck? It was at 100 a couple of years ago. Ah, uh, these guys aren't guaranteed by uh, Muscovy anymore. Uh, Austrian Bohemia won't help. What uh, attitude? What if I ask them to prepare for war and lower attitude? Boy, we haven't had one of these in a while, man. <laughs> An accidental war declaration on Sweden. Uh, yeah, it's just me, but I could call in Hamburg. Right. And I could almost call in Austria, but that didn't work. All right. I should be able to call in Bohemia in like a month or two. Uh, England, they won't come because they're in this war. Otherwise, they would have come in. You know what? Either way, I'm going to fight this, man. Uh, military doctrines and organization. We got some pretty interesting ones right here. This one is pretty good, I guess. And this one is pretty good, too. You know, we're not going with naval stuff, but I do want to have better boats. But then again, once we knock out Sweden, man, we won't have to do anything with boats. I'm just going to go with organized military staff. Yeah, there we go. Let's hope these boats don't die. You know, let's go blockade here. All right, sweet. There's Bohemia. What did I even declare for? I want it... <laughs> No freaking way. I declared a goddamn trade war. <laughs> What's the point of it then? So stupid, man. Should have alt f like I do. Well, I, at least I made Woolgast in their alliance with uh, Poland and Sweden. Now they're like to Venice and Brabant. A little easier. Yeah, I'll just declare on Norway. All right, so I want to make Hamburg not a free city. I wonder if I can do this. See, they won't accept because they don't want it. They don't want anything. They don't want to stop being a free city. I have 100% of them, man. They should be able to accept anything, right? Hmm. I guess I'll deal with this later. I think I'm going to make Norway my vassal. Okay, now they'll accept. Sweet. We'll get their cores back from Sweden. And now we can take Pen and Sword. A Danish defeat in Holstein will have adverse effects on the whole around the market. Well, I don't know what that is. Bypass the Soundtoll. 
Sealand becomes Lower Saxon. That's pretty good. Center of Trade increased by one, so it'll go up to level three. And Permaclaim is on those two provinces. And we can take another mission as well. Where is that? Markets of Brigand. Center of Trade and Berghaus increased by one. That's right here, right? Yeah. And we got this church in Norway too. This isn't really that good, is it? Yeah. I annexed the Teutons. Yay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and state this up. Nice. Very nice centers of trade in the Baltic, man. Cool. Truce with Sweden expired. This time I'm declaring a reconquest, calling in Bohemia and Austria. So yeah, reconquest on what? Let's do Akershus right there. Where is it? There we go. This war with Sweden is pretty long, man. Yeah. And there's trade wrapped up. Sweet. Where's that policy? Gimme, gimme. All right. Peace out, Scotland. We can take another mission now. Which mission? St. Peter Hof Depot. Every member of trade league will enjoy monetary benefits, blah, blah, blah. And there's the event. Luba gains trade power in Novgorod. Nice. I guess because I control it or because I got a merchant there, actually. I just put him right there. Uh, either way, where was Sweden is done, man. I'm just going to make them give back everything to Norway and the uh, Livonian order. I can't be bothered to divvy up the provinces. Looks about right. I'm also going to take this. This is not a lot of AE at all. Uh, can we do that? Actually, I want to walk over between my provinces. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Sweet, man. Looking pretty good, huh? And actually, I'm going to seize uh, Schleswig from Norway. Famous merchant. Ruler at 35. Sure. Riga is allyless. I definitely want this. A very important province that we do want to get for sure. And a pain in the ass to conquer as well. And that's a wrap on Riga. Excellent. Let's see if we get a mission now. I think we should. Not yet, I guess. But now we do, because I built a courthouse in Lubeck. A yearly Republican tradition. The event Town Hall of Lubeck happens. Advisor discount for 25 years and reform progress growth along with free innovativeness. Nice. And then we can develop the Handel's Fleet, Navy Tradition, Ship Trade Power, 30 years, Navy Tradition. Sweet. I like that, man. I like that. Now we do need to do this. Military Engineer Skill Level 3. Let's just hire him. And now we should be able to take it. Military engineer advisor. Oh, what is the army reformer? What is a military engineer? Let me look that up. Oh, okay. It's a fort defense guy. I need a level three fort defense guy. Well, I wasted my money for nothing. There's a fort defense guy and we can promote him because he's lower Saxon. Now we can take this. Let's see the event. Fort defense and local defender dice roll plus one until the end of the game. That's pretty strong, man. That's pretty strong. All right. Now we need this. Mercantilism, 40%. How much does it cost to increase mercantilism again? 62... I can't promote it all the way, right? Yeah. And then we also need a trader level 3 and we gain theory of mercantilism. I want to get to this mission because I want the um, Hansa ideas or whatever. All right, now we can actually fire this guy. We don't need him. And uh, let's look for, uh, what you call it? What do they want? Trader. I guess that's trade efficiency. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's hire that guy and promote him. Meanwhile, tier 6 government reform time. I'm going to stay a republic, by the way. Institution embracement, max absolutism. Calling diet no longer increases influence. Elections influence the estates. Republican tradition. That's pretty good, I guess. Advisors increase Republican tradition per level. Cannot seize crownland. That's not good. I, got, I have to go with this. I have to go with Supremacy of the Diet. All right, let's get our third level three center of trade. Lubeck and Sealand are already ones. Wow, awesome event for all Ortelsburg of all the provinces. Uh, what do we go with here? Yeah, urban infrastructure. I'm actually going to annex Norway now. All right, just as colonialism appeared, I can promote mercantilism up to 40. I have been bumping it up so far, and we can take a new system of trade. Let's see what happens. Uh, merchant trade power cost to promote mercantilism. Not bad, I guess. What's the next mission we need to do? Uh, oh, wait, no, I don't got to colonize for this. This is just an extra one. All right, we need to uh, Eagle of Lubeck flagship. Oh, and so many heavies. So many heavies. Let's tend to the towns, all own provinces, 10 dev in every single freaking province. But I don't want to do it. And 60 mercantilism. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, these are pretty annoying. And economic? I gotta have economic? Oh, one of the following has to be true. Okay. Ruler has admin skill of six. Well, yeah, that's the easiest one. Yeah, some of these missions, even though they're fun, they're getting kind of annoying. When am I gonna get 25 heavies, dude? Look at naval force limit. Jesus. Yo, this mission is OP, man. Look at everything we get. Or w w everything our advisors get, actually. Um, military advisor skill three is professionalism. Dude, professionalism sucks. I gotta drill. Frick, man. We'll guess if we allied Poland. I think I can ally the Ottomans. I'm sending a gift, too. <laughs> oh, I think we should be able to get them, man. Pretty close. There's even more Diplo rep. What's going on here? French succession war. France is a junior partner of Castile. This is a pretty strong Castile. <laughs> All right, Austria called me in versus Venice, and I'm fighting Wolgast as well. I think they will give me these provinces as long as they participate. There's the Ottoman alliance. Beast of Wolgast. Did I get anything? 
I didn't get anything. <laughs> Why did it not give me stuff? Dude, I'm so over gop cap. Holy, I just noticed that. Um, brick. All right, let's get the courthouses up, I guess. Uh, third idea group time. What can we go with here, man? We're only getting two policies here. Trade efficiency, production efficiency, quantity, lane force limit. Do I go with economic? Gold depletion, inflation reduction. Another merchant, goods produced. Economic isn't that that good anymore, but uh, it's still pretty good. Or do I go with quality? We also gain plus 15% trade efficiency. I'm feeling economic -y, though. I'm feeling economic -y, honestly. Pluto would be really good, too, as well. Uh, what, what's a caravel? Lights? Don't need lights. Hey, Annex Norway. Nice. Protestant spawned? Should I flip Protestant, man? Yeah. No. Okay, Muscovy lost that war to Castile. Castile kept France. France is loyal. Either way, we can take whatever. Sweden just got the Dake War. Muscovy probably won't defend them. Yes, they won't. So let's go ahead and call in everyone right here. Uh, let's do a little reconquest for Kexholm or whatever, but I'm going to take a lot more. New mission. The Ottomans, by the way, they broke their alliance with me. Tame the North Sea. Heavy ship discount, global naval engagement, money, mercantilism. All right, that's pretty good. We're almost done with this top branch right here, man. I just need to do this. Basically own the provinces that I haven't been able to get from the start. Do you believe these were the first provinces I wanted to own? All right, we're done with Sweden. Let's give that back. Wait, Denmark exists? No, they don't. Oh, they do. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Either way, yeah, let's give this back to the Livonian Order Man. Then I'm going to take this. And I guess I want centers of trade. Which ones do they have? Elfsborg and Stockholm only. So let's take Elfsborg. Let's take, I don't know, maybe this. Nah, I won't get coalition with that. Maybe I do this. And Bornholm? Sure. I think I actually want to flip Protestant, right? Yeah. Just chilling, converting away right now. Yeah. Annex the Livonian Order. Sweet. Let's go ahead and core that up. I mean, state it as well, uh, even though we are over guff cap. Uh, let's delete all of this. So many rebels now because of the, you know, religious disunity, man. I, and it's so annoying moving uh, all the, you know, armies around with boats and stuff like that. Yo, we can finally do this Adler von Lubeck event. Country has a flagship, neighboring country, home from uh, ship cost, navy decay. For 30 years only? This should be until the end of the game. Any missions now? Yeah, we're pretty much stuck with this mission tree. I ain't getting 25 heavies, bro. No way. Also, tier 7 gov reform time state maintenance will be pretty good. Global prosperity growth. I do need the gov cap, actually. Man, I want that global trade power, but I need the gov cap. Woo. All right, right now I'm on some frick Poland S. So let's go ahead and declare on wool gas, man. I'm tired of the not fighting these guys the entire game. Yeah. Right. Look at these idiots. They declare on Scotland. They don't have any troops here. Where's your dumb army, England? All right, well, I got out of this disaster. Let's go ahead and take that. And uh, what was I going to do? Right, declare on wool gas for that. Let's get it. Wow, this is an extremely annoying and unenjoyable war. But I do think it's done right now. Let's go ahead and take this. All right, mission. Uh, what can we do right here? Grinning steers had general perma claims, the autonomy change. Sure. sure. All right, I'm preparing something. I need another army right here, so let's create another army just like the one we have. Twenty-seven for uh twelve. There's the template. Let's put it down here. And for my final trick, I'll go ahead and declare on Bremen to annex them and Hamburg. <laughs> uh. Whew. All right, this was a pretty tough war, man, until I feast out Austria. After that, everyone got low, but, uh, Bremen and Hamburg are now mine. Ah, 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 ah. And just in time for us to wrap it up, too. Two more years left. And look at that, November 11th, 1544, exactly 100 years after the start of the game for this campaign, where our goal was to, uh, you know, just have fun, man, and go through the Lubeck mission tree, something I have wanted to do for a while. And, you know, our goal was to get 100 income, obviously. We beat that by quite a lot. You know, this wasn't, like, optimized or super dabbed or anything like that, you know, carefully focusing on trade and stuff like that obviously you know we're a more optimal approach or with a more focused approach you could get this up by a lot more but yeah man started off as opm lubeck went through a bunch of gov reforms right here tier 7 went through almost the entirety of the mission tree except for some annoying missions down here which i could have accomplished if i went for them you know 25 heavies some of them are quite annoying down here at the bottom but uh really nice missions right here man nice expansion i wanted to get sort of the entire lubeck trade node but i didn't get to do that almost you know some provinces are left here and there but uh lots of center of trade man look at all these merchants this is the trade income we're making right now 115 ducats a month nice income from production and tax as well 
two big armies even though they're not super strong they are quite large we don't have really a lot of mill modifiers right here big fleet three fleets protecting trade main battle fleet right here six heavies galleys transports you know the drill upgraded a bunch of centers of trade to level three man all of the other ones to level two built all the marketplaces well maybe not all built a bunch of production buildings built a bunch of manufactories as well churches here and there and stuff like that we flipped protestant got this massive coalition right here at the end didn't have really strong allies this campaign which was kind of weird we usually have a nice alliance is going but i guess not this campaign and uh yeah man slow and steady expansion aggressive expansion was a pain and this is how we've ended up looking like a hundred years after the game income pretty good i'm satisfied with that i thought we'd be a little bigger you know um name placement wise and uh we don't uh more provinces but uh we didn't get around to that sweden was pretty strong and it was quite annoying fighting them and uh this massive poland hungary lithuania right here uh sort of stopped our expansion over in this region but uh no biggie man overall super fun campaign as lubeck wanted to go through the mission tree did it didn't get the new hansa lubeck ideas which require you to uh do this mission right here which is kind of annoying to do but uh yeah maybe some other time so overall i'm happy with this campaign man had tons of fun nice chill relaxing campaign where i just you know did my own thing as lubeck no pain really except for the alliances and uh yeah man a nice chill goal to mix it up here and uh, i guess we'll be back with more pain next time but yeah even though we didn't have a strict goal i'm gonna i'm gonna say that this campaign was a success because i did enjoy myself so yeah ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as lubeck in a to z has been a success and that has been lubeck in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash royalhawklive. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.